News is flooding the internet. There's a whole lot of hype around this. Is it legit? Is it real? I think it is. The world's first self-charging supercapacitor actually harnesses solar energy with a staggering 63% efficiency. Now, to give you some context, the best solar panels in the world currently harness solar at around 25% efficiency. Mine are about 23%. You can get up to 25 now. This number of 63% does seem too good to be true, but here are the details behind these claims from some engineers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, guys, I was just thinking to myself, imagine if my solar panels could harness 63%, 63% of the solar that I generate, the electricity that I generate, I could probably produce around about 300 kilowatts of electricity a day, and then I could buy 10 Xpeng G6s and have a taxi fleet, just fantasizing. A collaborative research team that has unveiled a high-performance self-charging energy storage supercapacitor that efficiently captures and stores solar energy is a significant advancement for sustainable energy. There's been a whole lot of hype around supercapacitors. There's a huge excitement around them, similar to what there is around nuclear now. A lot of that excitement has sort of faded away, but I think some companies are doing some pretty amazing stuff with them. Because we've kind of moved on from supercapacitors, there's a little bit less kind of buzz around them, but maybe that shouldn't be the case. This innovative technology combines supercapacitors and solar cells, marking a milestone in energy storage developments. The groundbreaking study published in the journal Energy highlights how the research team has enhanced the capabilities of existing supercapacitors. By applying composite materials made from nickel-based carbonates and hydroxides, they achieved incredible results in energy efficiency that, to be honest, have never been seen before. The team incorporated various transition metal ions, including manganese, cobalt, copper, iron, and zinc, to boost the conductivity and the stability of the electrodes. This results, the results of this research are, to be honest, astounding. I don't think anyone really at the start thought this was serious, but people are now starting to think that it is. The new energy storage device boasts an energy density of 35.5 watt hours per kilogram, significantly surpassing figures reported in earlier studies, which typically range from 5 to 20 watt hours per kilogram. So the energy density of these batteries is still actually quite low, but they have some other big advantages. The power density achieved is an impressive 2,555.6 watts per kilogram. So the power density is remarkable. And that far exceeds previous benchmarks of around 1,000 watt hours per kilogram. So they've gone from 1,000 to 2,555. Where could this have good application? Well, I see this working in airplanes, like large jumbo jets where they need to get off the ground and they need to deploy a huge amount of power so an airplane could potentially have a, a small supercapacitor battery connected to potentially some super high powered motors. It could use that small battery to get off the ground in conjunction with its normal battery. And then in, while it's in the air, it could simply use its standard batteries, whether that be um, solid state batteries or CATL's condensed battery that is intended for jumbo jets and large airliners. So this is one possible use case. Can you guys think of any other possible use cases? Let me know if you can in the comments. Another key feature of this innovation is its durability. The device exhibits minimal performance degradation after numerous charge and discharge cycles, indicating its long-term viability. Now this resilience makes it a promising option for real world applications. In addition to its impressive storage capabilities, the research team has successfully created a hybrid energy storage device that integrates that integrates silicon solar cells with supercapacitors. And this is where the real excitement is at at this point in time. People are going, hang on a minute, this would revolutionize energy potentially worldwide. Now, I'm not saying it will, but that's what people are, you know, buzzing about. This combination allows the system to store and utilize solar energy in real time impressively. The hybrid system achieved an energy storage efficiency of 63% alongside an overall efficiency of 5.17%. Now, to be honest, I don't fully understand those numbers. And supercapacitors are an, an area of the battery industry that I think a lot of people, there's a lot of misconceptions about them and how they work. Now, these advancements suggest a bright future for commercializing self-charging energy storage solutions. The study represents a significant achievement as it introduces Korea's first self-charging energy storage device that seamlessly integrates supercapacitors with solar cells, said the senior researcher at the nanotechnology division of DGIST. 
He, well, as you can imagine, was pretty buzzed about what they'd done, what the team have, have done. But everyone always is after they reveal something like this. And we've seen a lot of reveals like this before. He said though, by leveraging transition-based metal composite materials, we've addressed the limitations of traditional energy storage technology and offered a sustainable energy solution. Damien Lee, a researcher at the Renewable Energy Laboratory of Kung Puk National University said, our team is committed to conducting follow-up research to further enhance the device's efficiency. So they think they can actually make this thing work even better. Is that true? Who knows? The development of this self-charging energy storage device comes at a crucial time as the world moves towards cleaner energy solutions. Guys, I was reading today about the coal power plant. It's the biggest one in Australia. It's actually located it's about 50 kilometers from where I live right here, right now. And the pollution from that thing is horrendous. I was reading about all the effects. The United Nations has come to Australia to investigate. They think it's a, to be honest, I think it's a bit of a disgrace, but that's being shut down. It's meant to be shut down next year. It sounds like it might be extended until 2027. That's being shut down and being replaced with a mega battery. Now that mega battery will basically take the place of that coal power plant and all the excess solar that's being wasted here where I live in Newcastle, all that excess solar is gonna be sucked up by that mega battery and that will provide enough power for the evenings, that evening peak period, 6 to 9 p.m., for probably about half the city, probably about a million people. New technology is enhancing energy storage capabilities. It's cheaper now, and they're more energy dense, and they last longer, and that's paving the way for more efficient solar energy use, aligning with global efforts to reduce carbon emissions and promote sustainability. As researchers continue to refine this technology, the potential applications for self-charging devices are pretty vast, actually. There's so many different applications I think they could be used for. Those include powering homes, even potentially powering EVs, or maybe even having a separate small supercapacitor battery in an EV just to get it going. The future of energy storage is incredibly promising, and supercapacitors are one of those areas that haven't been, I think they haven't been invested in enough. I'm, I'm really curious to know, if we invested, say, 10% of the money we've invested into lithium ion phosphate or just lithium ternary batteries, if we invested 10% of that into supercapacitors, what could we do? What is the potential with these batteries? We won't know potentially for several years. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Recently, there's been a new supercapacitor discovery. Now, many people are saying that this is a game-changing energy storage marvel that we should be paying attention, that you need to know about these new supercapacitors. So here's what they actually are, and here is why people say they are in fact game-changing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers, and welcome back, everyone else. These new Ultra micro supercapacitors showcase superior energy storage, which is the big problem with supercapacitors, and a potential for a revolution in device power sources that could drastically change.